guys, thanks for watching another episode of Unsung Heroes of Hollywood. I'm your host, Jordan Ross. Now, casting directors are some of the most underappreciated people in Hollywood. Now, if you're not an actor or in the film industry, odds are you can't name one casting director off the top of your head, which is a shame because they play a big part in putting some of our favorite movies together. So I'm highlighting one of the most respected casting directors in the business, and that's Ellen Chenoweth. Now, again, odds are very, very few of you have ever heard her name, but I guarantee you've seen at least some of the movies that she's casted. And included in those dozens and dozens of movies are Diner, The Natural, Terms of Endearment, Broadcast News, Toys, A Bronx Tale, Nobody's Fool, The Horse Whisperer, The Bridges of Madison County, Lolita, The Jackal, Wag the Dog, Analyze This, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, Meet the Parents, The Man Who Wasn't There, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, The Lady Killers, Good Night and Good Luck, No Country for Old Men, Michael Clayton, Changeling, Burn After Reading, Doubt, Gran Torino, Duplicity, A Serious Man, It's Complicated, True Grit, The Ides of March, Men in Black 3, The Born Legacy, Inside Lewin Davis, Hail Caesar, and Happen Leonard. And that's not even half of the movies that she's casted. And there are some all-time great movies in that list. In fact, she was the casting director for two Best Picture winners, and the films that she cast have nabbed 32 combined Oscar nominations in acting categories, winning five of them. And while average moviegoers won't know her name, the people in the industry definitely do. She's a frequent collaborator with the Coen brothers, who are two of the most exciting filmmakers of all time. She's also worked with directors George Clooney, Robert Redford, James L. Brooks, Clint Eastwood, Barry Levinson, Sidney Lumet, Robert De Niro, Robert Benton, and Harold Ramis. She's also been nominated for two primetime Emmys for Outstanding Cast in a Miniseries for You Don't Know Jack and Wizard of Lies. On top of that, she's earned 22 nominations at the Casting Society of America Awards. But anyway, as you can see, she's been involved in some truly great movies, so I was trying to figure out which of those are my favorites, and it was really difficult to pick just one because I love so many of them, but I was able to narrow it down to my top three favorite movies that she cast. One of them is The Natural, which is one of the best sports movies of all time, and that film starred Robert Redford, Glenn Close, Robert Duvall, Wilford Brimley, Barbara Hershey, Kim Basinger, Richard Farnsworth, John Don Baker, Robert Prosky, and Michael Madsen. And Glenn Close was actually nominated for an Oscar for her performance in that film. Another one of my top three favorite movies of hers is A Bronx Tale, which stars Robert De Niro, Chaz Palminteri, Joe Pesci, and Francis Capra. And I think that's one of the most underrated mobster movies of all time. I love that movie so much, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. We can't accept that. I didn't give it to you. I gave it to your son. He worked for me. That's right, my son. And I don't want my son involved in what goes on here. Involved in what? What are you talking about? Please, I'm not a stupid man, okay? Please, I'm not stupid. You know what I'm talking about. Just stay away from my son. And then, of course, there's No Country for Old Men, one of the two Best Picture winners that she cast. And that one had a really impressive cast of Javier Bardem, Tommy Lee Jones, Josh Brolin, Woody Harrelson, Kelly McDonald, Stephen Root, Garrett Dillahunt, Beth Grant, and Barry Corbin, who many of you might not know is actually my grandpa. In fact, I'm going to be doing an Unsung Heroes of Hollywood episode about him in the future, so keep an eye out. She buried him the next morning, digging in that hard old caliche. What you got ain't nothing new. This country's hard on people. You can't stop what's coming. Anyway, so then there are Ellen Chenoweth's upcoming projects. And among those are another George Clooney film, Suburbicon, which is a dark comedy that stars Matt Damon, Julianne Moore, and Oscar Isaac. And it was written by the Coen brothers. I'm gonna kill you, too. <laughs> And then there's an untitled Barry Levinson project, which centers on Joe Paterno during Jerry Sandusky's sex abuse scandal at Penn State. And that stars Al Pacino and Riley Keough. 
And lastly, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, which is the Coen Brothers anthology miniseries on Netflix that follows six different stories set in the Wild West. And different episodes of that will star James Franco, Zoe Kazan, Stephen Root, and Tim Blake Nelson. So yeah, I hope this episode sheds a little bit of light on how important casting directors are within the film industry. And next time you're watching a movie that you really like, go look up the casting director and see what other movies they've cast. Because without them, a lot of our favorite movies wouldn't even exist. Anyway, what's your favorite Ellen Chenoweth movie? Let me know in the comment section. Also, what movie had your favorite ensemble cast? Let me know that as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode of Unsung Heroes of Hollywood. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all of my social media accounts, which you can find in the description section below. Thanks again, and until next time, I'm your host, Jordan Ross.